Solve six to the x power is equal to 45 and give x to the nearest hundred. So we have six to the x power is equal to is equal to 45. So to solve this, I'm going to take the logarithm of both sides of this equation. And there's multiple ba different bases I could do, but I'm going to take the log base 10 of both sides of this equation. And the reason I'm going to is because to really solve this, I'm going to have to use my calculator. And my calculator has a log base 10 function. So let's do that. So this is log base 10, log base 10 of both sides. If 6 to the x is really equal to 45, then the power that I have to raise 10 to to get to 6 to the x is the same power I have to get raise 10 to to get to 45. Now, right over here, we know from our logarithm properties, this thing right over here, if we have the logarithm of something to the something power, something to the x power, that's the same thing as x times the logarithm x times the logarithm of that something, which was the 6 right over there. So you can move this out front, that exponent. And that's going to be equal to, that's going to be equal to, I want to stay, the logarithm base 10 of 45, of 45. And now we can just solve for x. We can divide both sides of this equation. We can divide both sides of this equation by the log base 10 of 6. Divide both sides with a log base 10 of 6. This cancels out. And then we are left with x is equal to x is equal to the log base 10 of 45 over the log base 10 of 6. And this is useful because I can actually calculate this on my calculator. And there's one thing I want to show you. Because well, well, let's just calculate the problem, and then I'll show you the thing that I want to show you. So to do this, let's turn the calculator on. Let me clear what I had from the last problem. So the log base 10 of 45, I can literally just use the log button. Log of 45, that means base 10. If someone just writes a log without the little subscript 10, this means base 10. So that's log base 10 of 45 divided by log, log base 10 of 6. And that gets us, that gets us 2.1. Two. So we went around to the nearest hundredth. The thousandth place is less than five, so it's 2.12. So this is this is approximately equal to approximately equal to 2.12, which makes sense because six squared is 36. 45 is a little larger than and than 36. Six to the third power is much larger, so you get 2.12, and you can verify it for yourself. Raise six to the 2.12 power. Actually, let me do that with the calculator. So let me raise six to the 2.12, and obviously I rounded it, so it won't be exact, but it should get pretty close to 45. Yep, got pretty close to 45. If I had if I added some more precision, I would have gotten even more. I would have even gotten even closer. 6.2.12. Let's try 4.538, or 4.538, seven, seven, and then let me round that one nine. So let's see what happens here. So now we're getting much, much, much closer to 45. Now what I want to show you is by taking both logarithm base 10 of both sides, and we did that because log base 10 is a function on our calculator, we essentially, we essentially kind of reproved the change of base formula. Because when you're trying to solve 6 to the x is equal to 45, one way you could do it is one way you could do it is you could take the, the log base 6 of both sides. So you could have taken log base 6 of that side and log base 6 of that side. And what is the power that I have to raise 6 to to get to 6 to the x power? Well, I have to raise that to the x power. So this thing would simplify as just x. One way to think about it is you could take this exponent using logarithm properties, put, them, put it out here, put it out here, and then you say, well, what power do I have to raise 6 to to get to 6? Well, you just have to raise it to the first power. So this part simplifies to 1. You just have x times 1 is just x. So the left-hand side, regardless of how you think about it, simplifies to x. The right-hand side becomes is equal to log base 6 of 45. And this is, once again, it's something that I can't do this in my head. But we know, we by going the other way, by taking log base 10, we figured out that this is the exact same thing as log base 10 of 45 over log base 10 of 6. So what we essentially showed is the change of base formula using the specific case of 6, 6 and 45.